Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things that's um, more work and um, maybe a little longer than many of the things that I've suggested here, but definitely something that speeds up PCs, especially if your PC has not been reinstalled, Windows has not been reinstalled, and you've been using the same Windows 10 install for years. A complete reinstall of Windows 10 often, and most of the time, really speeds up a computer. Over time, it is known, and it is a fact, that Windows will slow down. It will slow down because of multiple factors. It will slow down because of all the updates, the trash that it left behind, corrupted files that can happen in the system here and there, the software install that makes this, the operating system bigger and bigger. No CCleaner does not clean anything useful. Once again, this is false. And every time somebody says, well, I use CCleaner, so it keeps Windows clean, you know, that is absolutely false. Doesn't do anything. It barely scratches the surface of what should be done to make a PC faster. And the reason why? Because it would break Windows too easily. So a thing that I will uh, often say is, you know, reinstall Windows. There are questions from time to time that I get from people saying, well, you know, how often should I reinstall Windows? Well, that depends on how you use your PC and how, you know, what the performance you're getting. If it works fine, it's fast enough for you. You don't have to do this every six months or every year. Some people are on the same install of Windows for years. And uh, I've seen people on the same install of Windows for the lifetime of their PC, and they've been okay with it. So it's really more of a personal thing, but if you want to speed up, if you, if you find your PC this slow over time, definitely a reinstall will help because it will just clean everything. Windows will be at its basic install. It won't have all the bloated extras that was installed and left behind over the years. And definitely, if you have problems with the PC, error messages, blue screens that have started over time, well, maybe this is going to fix all of that also. How do you do this? Well, there are several ways. You can do it in what I call the hard way, which is download an image of Windows from the Microsoft website for Windows 10, put it on a USB thumb drive, and do an install from there. But you know what? There's an easy way to do it for most of you. It is to simply go into your start, into your settings. In the settings, you'll go into update and security. On the left side, you'll have recovery. Here, you have the possibility to actually reset this PC. And if you click the Get Started button, it will ask you what you want to do. Keep your files, remove everything. If you keep files, it will remove the apps, it will change the settings back to normal, and it will keep the personal files. And in some cases, if you don't have any backups, if you're not, well, that could be a, a way of doing it because you're not going to lose your personal data. Honestly, the best option is to remove all of the personal files, apps, and settings. That means take the time to put them into you know, uh, a USB thumb drive, an external hard drive in the cloud. Anyways, having a backup is a really good thing. You should always have a backup of your files because you never know. A hard drive can fail. If it fails, there's a lot of times where all that's on it is lost and you cannot recover it. Or if you can, it will cost you a fortune. So um, both options are available. You choose and you follow what's there. It's going to, of course, so if you click remove your personal files, apps, and settings, it's going to continue working. It's going to ask you then cloud download, which will download and reinstall Windows from a version that's downloaded from the cloud. And... Um, you have local reinstall, reinstall Windows on this device. So that is going to be faster in general, and it will reinstall Windows on your computer. 
So just follow. You know what? Don't be afraid to do it yourself. Too many people are scared of the reinstall of Windows, thinking you need the tech guy to do this all the time. You don't need a tech guy to reinstall Windows today at all. Everyone can do this at home. Once it gets into the reinstall, it's just going to ask you standard questions. It's going to ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi, create a Microsoft account, all of that, or log into your Microsoft account that you already have, and so on. Just follow the instructions, and you'll have a computer that's fine, that's going to run. And for most machines, Windows already has and downloads all the drivers that it needs for a perfectly working PC. In some cases, if you are missing sound, if you are things that are not right, simply go to the manufacturer of your PC on the internet after the reinstall and just download from the page of your on, of your model of PC the different drivers that they offer on the manufacturer website. But I can tell you, in the majority of cases, you don't need to do this at all. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.